Hi, I'm Nika, and today I will introduce GenStore, a high performance in storage processing system for genome sequence analysis. Genome sequence analysis is critical for many applications. Genome sequencing machines extract the smaller fragments of the original DNA sequence known as reads. Read mapping is the first key step in genome sequence analysis that aligns reads to potential matching locations within the reference genome. And for each matching location, the alignment step finds the degree of similarity between read and reference by calculating the alignment score. Calculating the alignment score is computationally expensive since it requires approximate string matching to account for differences between reads and the reference genome. Read mapping performs alignment on large genomic data sets containing millions of reads. Therefore, read mapping is both computationally expensive and incurs high data movement overhead. There has been significant effort into improving read mapping performance through efficient heuristics, hardware accelerators, and various filters that prune reads that do not require expensive computation. While these approaches address the computation overhead in read mapping, none of them alleviate the data movement overhead from storage whose impact becomes even larger when the computation overhead gets alleviated. Our key idea is to filter out reads that do not require the expensive alignment step in the storage system uh, to fundamentally reduce the data movement overhead of read mapping. Examples of reads that do not require the costly alignment step are exactly matching reads to the reference genome that do not need approximate string matching performed during alignment, and non-matching reads that have no potential matching locations in the reference genome and hence skip the alignment step. However, filtering reads in a modern SSD can be challenging due to different behavior across read mapping workloads and the limited hardware resources in the SSD. By addressing these challenges, we propose GenStore, the first in storage processing system designed for genome sequence analysis to reduce both computation and data movement overhead. GenStore provides high performance and energy benefits compared to state-of-the-art hardware and software baselines. That was a summary of my talk. So let's start with the background of read mapping so we can dive into the talk in more detail. Mapping reads to reference genome requires expensive computation on large data sets. The search space in reference genome can be very large. For example, the human reference genome contains more than 3 billion characters. Therefore, read mappers typically use an index of the reference genome to reduce the search space. This index contains unique k-length subsequences called k-mers extracted from the reference genome and the locations of these k-mers in the reference genome. Read mapping is a three-step process. The state-of-the-art read mappers involve several heuristics to reduce the cost of expensive alignment computation. In the first step called seeding, the mapper determines the potential matching location locations or seeds in the large reference genome where the read could map. To do so, the read mapper extracts k-mers from reads and looks up the k-mers fetched from read in the reference index. For all the k-mers that hit in the index, the read mapper marks the locations of them in the reference genome as the read's potential matching locations or also called seeds. To further reduce the cost of computationally expensive alignment, the read mapper performs a second step called uh, chaining or seed filtering that prunes some of these uh, potential matching locations or seeds in the reference genome using a simpler approximation of the alignment score. At the end of this step, the reads that have all their locations filtered skip the third step. For the remaining reads, the third step, which is the costly alignment, determines the exact differences between the read and the reference genome via computationally expensive approximate string matching. We perform experimental studies to understand the potential of in efficient in storage filters. We perform a case study on a real-world genomic read data set on various read mapping systems and state-of-the-art SSD configurations and make several observations. First, the ideal in storage filter significantly improves performance by reducing the computation in data movement overheads. Second, filtering outside SSD provides lower performance benefit since it does not reduce the data movement overhead and must compete with read mapping for system resources. Third, by addressing the computation bottlenecks in the accelerators, the impact of I.O. bottleneck becomes even larger, therefore necessitating the need for a storage filter even further.
Motivated by these observations, our goal is to design a storage filter for genome sequence analysis in a cost-effective manner. We have three key objectives in designing our new system. First, the system should provide high in storage filtering performance to overlap the filtering with the read mapping of unfiltered data. Second, the design should support reads with different properties and different degrees of genetic variation. Third, it should not require significant additional hardware overhead. To this end, we propose GenStore, which is the first in storage processing system designed for genome sequence analysis. Our key idea is to filter reads that do not require alignment inside the storage system and send unfiltered data to the host system for further processing. However, filtering reads in a modern SSD can be challenging due to different behavior across read mapping workloads and the limited hardware resources available in the SSD. Let's take a closer look at filtering opportunities based on the features of the genomic input read sets. Sequencing machines produce one of two kinds of reads. Short reads that are highly accurate but short, for example, up to a few hundreds of DNA characters, and long reads that are less accurate but long, for example, from hundreds to millions of DNA characters. Based on these, we leverage two filtering opportunities. First, we filter exactly matching reads, which are reads that match exactly to one or more subsequences of the reference genome and do not require approximate string matching during alignment. Exact matches can frequently occur in short read sets with low sequencing errors and low genetic variation. Second, we can filter non-matching reads, and such reads do not have any potential matching locations in the reference genome, therefore they skip the expensive alignment step. Non-matching reads can frequently occur in long read sets with high sequencing errors, or in shorter long read sets with high degree of genetic variation. By thorough analysis of mapping process for reads with different properties and different degrees of genetic variation, we designed two low cost and storage filters, GenStore EM, for filtering exactly matching reads, and GenStore NM for filtering most of non-matching reads. Let's take a closer look at GenStore EM. GenStore EM accelerates read mapping by using an efficient and storage filter to filter reads that have at least one exactly matching location in the reference genome via simple operations without requiring expensive alignment. The key challenge in designing GenStore EM is the large number of random accesses to large data structures inside the SSD. This is challenging because NAND flash memory exhibits poor performance for random access reads, and there is limited DRAM capacity available in SSD, which is relatively small compared to the size of data structures that need to be accessed. To reduce the number of accesses per each read, we introduce read-sized k-mers. Therefore, instead of extracting several k-mers per each read and performing index lookups for each of the k-mers, we can use the whole read as one k-mer and have only one index lookup per read. To avoid random accesses to the index, we introduce sorted index of read-sized k-mers. The sorted index allows finding matches via sequential scanning of read sets and the index. I show the key idea of Gestor EM with a simplified example in which each short read consists of 10 characters. Suppose that we have two data structures. First, a sorted read table, each entry of which stores a read and its unique ID and a sorted k-mer index, which contains all unique read-sized k-mers extracted from the reference genome, along with each k-mer's corresponding locations in the reference genome. Each data structure is sorted by read and k-mer in alphabetical order. We sequentially scan through these data structures in three different ways based on the comparison result of the current read and k-mer. First, we when a current read and k-mer are identical, we record the read as an exactly matching read that can be filtered from further read mapping process. Then we move to the next element in both structures. If the read is alphabetically larger than the k-mer, we conclude that a k-mer does not match any read and go to the next element in the index so that we can examine the next k-mer. If the k-mer is alphabetically larger than the read, we conclude that the read does not match any k-mer in the index and needs to be sent for full read mapping process to the host system. Then we go to the next element in sorted read table, so we can examine the next read. Using this technique, GenStoreEM avoids random accesses and performs filtering using only simple low-cost logic. Despite the key benefits of the sorted read-sized k-mer index, 
This index takes up a large space due to the large number of unique read-sized k-mers. We further reduce the overhead of GenStore EM by replacing read-sized k-mers with a strong hash value of each of the k-mers that can act as sorting criterion and fingerprint of each read. Using hash values instead of uh, read-sized k-mers reduces the size of index by 3.9 times. While this index is still larger than the baseline KMR index used in the conventional read mappers, our proposal is feasible for in storage processing due to the large capacity available inside the storage and high internal bandwidth of modern NAND flash based SSDs. Now I show the overall operation flow of GenStore EM with sorted read table and sorted KMR index in the NAND flash memory distributed across all channels and dies in order to leverage the full um, internal bandwidth of the SSD and the comparator logic located in the SSD controller. GenStore EM consists of two steps. Step one reads the two data structures sequentially from NAND flash chips to the SSD's internal DRAM in a batched manner. And step two performs exact match filtering within each batch and uh, using this simple comparator logic inside the SSD. Step one and two can be performed in a pipeline manner. And during filtering, GenStore EM sends the unfiltered reads to the host system for full read mapping. Now let's take a closer look at GenStore NM. Using chaining, GenStore NM filters most of the non-matching reads, which are reads that would not align to any subsequences in the reference genome. Recall that chaining filter calculates a similarity score for each read called chaining score and filters reads with no high scoring potential matching locations. Calculating a chaining score in SSD is challenging because finding the best chaining score requires performing many iterations of an expensive dynamic programming algorithm for all seeds within a read. This is particularly challenging for long reads since they have a large number of k-mers per read. So to reduce the cost of chaining, GenStore and M uses a lightweight chaining filter to, that selectively performs chaining on your reads with a small number of seeds and directly sends the reads that require more complex chaining to host system. This is based on our observation from analyzing a wide range of real-world genomic data sets. So this figure shows the alignment probability of a read in the long read data set to subsequences in the reference genome as a function of number of seeds per read. We observe that reads with sufficiently large number of seeds are very likely to align to subsequences in the reference genome, and such reads can be directly sent to the CPU or accelerator for full read mapping bypassing the in-storage filter. We calculate that selective lightweight chaining filter uh, can filter many non-aligning reads without requiring costly hardware resources in the SSD uh, for the full-fledged complex chaining. For more details on GenStore and M's design, please refer to our paper. I will now go into our results. We evaluate the following system. Base, which is state-of-the-art software or hardware read mappers for both short and long reads, and GS, which is base integrated with GenStore inside the SSD. We evaluate these mappers and systems with various SSD configurations, a low-end, a medium-end, and a high-end SSD. For other details about our methodology, please refer to the paper. We analyzed the benefits of GenStore EM for a 22 gigabyte short read set where 80% of reads exactly match some subsequences in the reference genome and can be filtered. We show the benefits of GenStore on software and hardware read mappers. GenStore provides up to 2.5 times speed up compared to the software, uh, software baseline and up to 3.3 times speed up compared to the hardware baseline. GenStore provides an average 3.9 times energy reduction. We analyze the benefits of GenStore NM for a 12 gigabyte long read set with a high genetic variation compared to the reference genome, where 99.7% of these do not match any subsequences in the reference genome. So GenStore provides up to 27.9 times the speed up compared to the software baseline and up to 19.2 times speed up compared to the hardware baseline. And GenStore provides an average 27.2 times energy reduction. We find area and power values of GenStore by synthesizing GenStore EM and NM using 65 nanometer technology node and find that for an eight channel SSD, 
The area of GenStore is 0.2 millimeters square and the power is 26.6 watts. By scaling the area to lower technology nodes, we observed that the area overhead of GenStore is 0.006% of an Intel processor and less than 9.5% of the three ARM cores used in a SATA SSD controller. Let me briefly talk about other results that are included in the paper before concluding this talk. So these results include the following. We study the effect of read set features on performance, such as data size and filter ratio. And we analyze the performance benefit of an implementation of GenStore outside the SSD. In some cases, uh, this implementation provides performance benefits compared to the read, um, read mapper baseline. Uh, because of more efficient streaming accesses to data structures. However, it provides significantly lower benefit compared to GenStore's implementation inside the SSD. We also provide more detailed characterization of read mapping use cases for different species. Now let me conclude by giving the summary. There has been significant effort into improving read mapping performance through efficient heuristics, hardware accelerators, and various filters. While these approaches address the computation overhead in read mapping, none of them alleviate data movement overhead from storage, whose impact becomes even larger when computation overhead gets alleviated. Our goal is to improve performance of genome sequence analysis by effectively reducing unnecessary data movement from storage system. The key idea is to filter reads that do not require the expensive alignment computation in the storage system to fundamentally reduce the data movement overhead. However, filtering reads inside the SSD can be challenging because read mapping workloads can exhibit different behavior and there are limited available hardware resources in the storage system. To this end, we propose GenStore, which is the first in storage processing system designed for genome sequence analysis to reduce both computation and data movement overhead. GenStore provides high performance and energy benefits compared to the state-of-the-art hardware and software baselines. So that concludes my talk. Thank you very much for listening.